Meet Teacher Tony. Teacher Tony is concerned about his classroom management. Teacher Tony needs help. Ah, I can't get my students to behave properly. Why don't you use behaviorism to help shape appropriate student behavior? What's behaviorism? Behaviorism is a learning theory based on the idea that behavior can be controlled or modified based on the antecedents and consequences of a behavior. Huh? For example, in the classroom, a behavior will only occur if given the right environment or antecedent. The behavior is more or less likely to reoccur based on the reinforcements or consequences that follow, such as rewards and punishments. Um, what? You've probably seen behaviorism at work and didn't even know it. Behaviorism is often used for shaping classroom behavior and helping students learn basic facts and skills. Common examples include, you can watch TV as soon as you're done with your homework, Students who complete all homework this week don't have to take the quiz on Friday. Receiving a sticker for a correct answer on a math problem. And students who arrive late will receive detention. These are all examples of behaviorism at work in the classroom. Now let's see if we can apply the principles of behaviorism to help solve Teacher Tony's problem. First, Teacher Tony needs to decide what specific behaviors he wants his students to exhibit. Teacher Tony decides he would like students to show four behaviors. Teacher Tony wants students to come to class on time, have materials out when the bell rings, participate in classroom discussions, and push in their chair when they leave class. Next, Teacher Tony must decide on reinforcements or consequences for his students. Teacher Tony decides on two reinforcers. First, Teacher Tony will award classroom money to students who demonstrate behaviors. Money can be spent on class rewards, such as using notes on a quiz or turning in homework late with no penalty. Second, Teacher Tony will take away money from students who fail to demonstrate the behaviors. After implementing these principles of behaviorism, Teacher Tony's students are coming to class on time, have materials out when the bell rings, participating in classroom discussions, and pushing in their chair when they leave class. Using behaviorism really helped my classroom management. If you are wanting to shape student behaviors and learning in your class, you can use behaviorism to solve your problems, just like Teacher Tony.